Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're gonna take a look at the SH Figure Arts Krillin, Earth's Strongest Man from Dragon Ball Z. Hmm, I'm not really sure about Earth's Strongest Man. I mean, Tien is pretty strong too, right? Um, they're not the same? I don't know. Let me know in the comments on what you think. But anyways, I've been waiting for this one for a very long time. Um, Krillin has always been one of my favorite. I'm not really sure why, but here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And this is supposedly a 2.0 version compared to the one we got a long time ago. But yeah, I don't have that one anymore, and I don't think I really need it after having this one. But anyways, I mean, let's check it out. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging looking really good. And being the Earth's strongest man on Krillin gets the full Bandai package, right? We get the effect parts, five pairs of hands, three interchangeable head, and the Sensu being hand. Like, this is really, really cool. Um, we get a lot. And yeah, let's check it out. Alright, and here we have the figure itself, and this is basically the pinnacle of action figures, right? It's Bandai, it's SH Figure Arts, it's Dragon Ball Line, it's using all the latest technology and engineering. It's basically a perfect version of Krillin. Um, I know it even before I touch it, and let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, looks like he walked out straight from the anime. Um, this is the Dragon Ball Z Cell Saga, or like... Um, Android Saga Krillin looking really really good and it's featuring the new body um, Sculpture same with the um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, they have like this rounder hip over here gives a little bit more um, Natural range and yeah, I think we can jump straight into your articulation I don't think there's anything you guys haven't seen already, but for a quick comparison. Oh, here's him next to Goku This is basically perfect in my opinion and for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. Um, I have Goku behind so we can compare it. Um, we can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can tilt his head side to side, no problem. And the shoulder, uh, we got this really nice long ball joint so it gives you a lot of movement. So it kind of functions like a butterfly. But most impressive thing over here is that um, the orange and the blue part of the cloth is actually separated. Like there's two different pieces so it gives you a little bit more range and it moves more naturally. And of course we have bicep swivel, curl about this much, and you do get the ball wrist. But yeah, um, just for a quick comparison, um, this is just like one piece over here um, for the older design. I'm not really sure if they will do the same for the new Goku that's coming out. I'm talking about a movie version, I doubt it. But um, yeah, let's, let's move on. Uh, for the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, which is quite a lot. Bend backwards about this much, have some really good side-to-side -side movement, but you gotta watch out for the paint chipping over here. And for the leg, again, this is a really cool design. Um, we got the same thing for Super Saiyan for Goku. Uh, I guess they're just testing the waters here, but I really like this design. Because instead of having like this moving piece over here that's like kind of um, awkward hindering the articulation, this ball design works a lot better. You can kick up about this high and move it freely without any hindrance. But a lot of people don't really like this though um, in terms of looks, but I think it works fine. And you can bend about this much, right? Very good side to side pivot and toe hinge. Yeah, I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, this is kind of like a preview for us to see what the new Goku body will look like, right? Maybe in the future. But yeah, um, let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with a default face, and I think they did a great job over here. And next up, we get a yelling face, and I think this looks really good as well. And the interesting thing about this is, um, I like the new design they did over here. Um, this is very easy to interchange, um, very, very smooth. I like it. And then we have a worried expression. And the last one we got is an angry teeth greeting face, looking pretty good. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get a pair of display open hands, and these are for Kamehameha, pretty standard for Dragon Ball figures. And then we get a pair of display open hands, a pair of style posing hands, a pair of hands for solar flare. And lastly, we get one left hand for holding the Sensu Bean, um, this is just one piece, and a pair of hands for holding the Destructo Disc, and this is really, really cool, I really like this. And yeah, let's check out some action posing.
And for the size comparison, let us start with some Dragon Ball SH figure arts, and I think they look amazing together. And at the time of this video, I just secured my pre-order for the first form Cell. Really excited for that. Hopefully they make the 2.0 version of Perfect Cell too. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. But I wonder what else they're going to do though. Personally, again, I would love to see a tank top trunks. They can do a long hair, tank top, strong, skinny. Like they can do a lot with it. And um, I'm really not sure if they're going to make a new version of 17 and 18. I think that would be cool. But they recently just released the super version so huh, i highly doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon but one can hope right and yeah let me know in the comments on which characters you would like to see from the cell saga and yeah, let's move on and next up we have some more dragon ball sh figure arts and then we have some jujutsu kaisen and naruto sh figure arts and then we have some mayfax and the amazing amaguchi arkham knight and lastly, we have some Figma figures. I'm really enjoying the Attack on Titan. And let's check out some final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think this figure is a no-brainer. Um, the first Krillin came out like when I was still in school. So that's like 7 or 8 years ago. We have really come a long way. And this one, being a regular release, is using all the latest technology. The articulation is amazing and it comes with a lot of accessories. It's just such a great time to be a collector. Um, Bandai is always going to come out with new stuff, but... As it is, this is as good as it gets at this moment. And yeah, um, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.